So we're going to be looking at a test for um, positive ions. We're going to look at calcium, copper, iron 2, iron 3, aluminium, magnesium, and ammonium, and you react them all with sodium hydroxide. So starting with calcium, um, I'm doing this in a test tube, but when I get my students to do it, they do it on a um, piece of magnetic card so they can see the colour change. So I'm adding sodium hydroxide, and what we can see forming is a white precipitate. So you need to know calcium, when mixed with sodium hydroxide, forms a white precipitate. Next one I'm going to do is going to be copper. So taking a nice lot of my copper into my test tube, reacting that with my sodium hydroxide. And if you watch what happens, you can see, let me bring that up a bit closer for you. You can see that a blue precipitate has formed on that. Try and get that to focus. Okay, so there's a blue precipitate up top here and the unreacted copper is down there. If I to give that a bit of a shake, so you can see it is all turning into um, sludgy copper precipitate. So the next reaction is iron 2. So squirting my iron 2 in here and adding my sodium hydroxide. You can see that we have a brown precipitate being formed. And again, if you look really closely around the edges, you can see some of the unreacted um, iron 2 solution. After iron 2, I'm going to use iron 3. Oops, it's a bit stiff to get out. There we go. So, iron 3 solution starts off looking very similar. And I'm really touch confusing with iron 2 and iron 3. This is something we go into a lot more at um, A level. So the iron 3 has formed a kind of like a, um, a, a more rusty browny colour, whereas this colour here is more of a, of a, a greeny browny colour for iron 2. Then we have our aluminium. Let me just uh, get the lid up on this. Squirt my aluminium in there. Now, this um, does two things. You can see it goes white at first. So that's our white um, precipitate from aluminium. And then if I keep adding the um, sulfuric acid, you can see, especially down the bottom here, it's starting to go clear again. So aluminium, it goes white at first, and then when you add excess um, sodium hydroxide, you can see that the white is starting to disappear and it is going clear again. Then we have magnesium. So I put my magnesium in there, adding in my um, sodium hydroxide. And this again has formed a white precipitate. Um, and just because it's here, let's have a go at, oh, can get this out? Right, let me just cheat slightly and pour it. Okay, so ammonia, add some sodium hydroxide and nothing happens. So, if I just bring you down here, <coughs> we can see that calcium forms a white precipitate, copper forms a blue precipitate, iron 2 forms kind of a browny greeny precipitate, um, iron 3 is more browny red precipitate, um, mag um, aluminium forms a precipitate that starts white and then as we add more and more, as we add more and more it goes back to clear and then magnesium has a white precipitate at the bottom and nothing happens with ammonia. 
thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.